Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel where we pour tea, where we pour coffee, and where in this video I think we're going to have to bring the wine out, okay? But for all you all that are new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, like and comment under my um, videos. But thank you for coming to my YouTube channel and thank you for the ones that have already subscribed. And remember, when you come over to my house, it's always a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Okay, we're going to get into the Hollywood life. They dropped a video as well as commentary on none other than... Wendy Williams, yes, Wendy Williams is throwing her hat in the ring, trying to be a mediator, or trying to be an onlooker, or trying to be a downright backstabber. I don't know, however you want to go with it, take three of those and put three of them all out there in the comment section for me to dive and think on, you know, that thought-provoking type of behavior I get to sometimes. But, as you can remember, Nene had donned or deemed Wendy Williams as her new bestie, her best friend, right? So why? Why or why is Wendy Williams sitting on her purple chair, sitting in her purple chair, saying she's neutral? <laughs> she don't care for Kenya nor Nene that way. And it's time for Nene to wake up and smell the coffee or change drinks. Instead of she drinking the margarita, she need to be drinking the straight up tequila. Okay, because Wendy Williams is not her friend. Not in Hollywood. I don't think anybody can be truly friends in Hollywood. You might can be cordial. You might can hang out with your arch nemesis or fake friends or whatnot just to get publicity. Okay, get those pictures so they can be deemed uh, that you all may be friends and you're closing up to one another in the social media world but it seems like Nene you need to cho choose your enemies closer and keep them close and choose your friends okay and keep them at a distance because you don't want them to get hit with any of the bullets or the arrows or the sling blades that are just you know coming at you at this point but I was shocked when I said what in the hell is Nene teaming up with Wendy Williams in the first place okay then you see how she did tame up she gave that uh, Caucasian guy a TV show, uh, or she vouched for him. But Tamar, she done had on her show, I don't know how many, countless of times. And Tamar, I don't care what nobody says, she made good for TV. I mean, it's going to be ratchet. It's going to be, you're going to probably see a lot of uh, urban type folks up there, and a lot of urban type musicians and stuff of that nature, like Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, anywhere she can get her little groove on. Hey, you might see Birdman up there, okay? But. You know, she just has that type of flavor, and you have people that are into that type of flavor. I mean, all the kind of flavors out there, as long as it's, it piques my interest. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, she did everything for other people. Why can't she set Tamar up in a little talk show type of format? Or at least try to groom her into the business so she can make some serious money. Or is Willie, uh, uh, Willie Williams kind of jealous and don't want to see another woman, black woman at that? climb the letters and probably throw her out of her seat. But like I said, it's always somebody new in the game. You know, if I give you an example for our Serena and Venus Williams, you know, they came up on top of their game. They just knocked everybody off the block. Now it's going to be new people, younger, stronger, and, you know, they just vivacious and fierce to want that title that they've held for so you know, many years. So they're going to come and replace them. It's, oh, you ain't going to hold the rain that long to enjoy it while you're running. And, and everybody's shouting and screaming your name because it's going to be a time when you get older, you get seasoned, where you can't do that anymore. You can't have that high, powerful performance level, whether you're in the entertainment business, you're a musician, you're an athlete, or you're an entertainer, you know, even just comedians or whatnot. You're not going to have that longevity. It's going to be a breaking point where you can't do what you used to do. And it's somebody else coming up, mimicking you and taking over. I think that is, 
uh, them paying homage, you know, to you in a sense that they really like what you were doing. But yeah, they're going to take it a little step further. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's the, we call it circle of karma of life or, or a circle of life. You know, it's, it's nothing against anybody who has talent out there. But guess what? You are definitely going to be, you know, second rated by somebody younger, smarter, faster, funnier. You know, it's just going to happen like that. This is, is what it is. But, honey, I'm talking about these backstabs out here. Nene claiming her as a friend. And, and, and on the uh, downside, Wendy Williams talking about, oh, I got to think about my ratings. I got to think about my show. I got to think about my retirement. <laughs> I'm going to like everybody. I'm going to be neutral, okay? But I'm going to stir the pot and throw some shit out there and see if somebody take it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how uh, Wendy Williams get down. But, yeah, that's what we're talking about this evening, honey. And we got several more stories. So get used to it. I hope you're sitting down. I hope you have a wonderful Friday evening. And if you are tuning in to me, honey, I got two more videos to drop. Because I'm telling you, it, it's a falling in my lap tonight, okay? I might be too hoarse to talk tomorrow, but I don't know. You know how I get I come back on and I'll be squeaking like a, a tire. I ain't got oil on it. And it needs to be oiled and green so it can just start running back like normal. But let's get into this article. Um, the author of this article is, what's it called? Janae Lemacili? Something like that. Y'all go check it out, hollywoodlife.com. And y'all can get the name and you probably can pronounce it better than me. But I'm just going to call her Miss J.L., Okay. But she titled her article, Wendy Williams Gets in the Middle of Kenya Moore and Nene, Real Housewives of Atlanta Drama. Kenya wants Nene's top spot. Now, you know, I've always said that. That's the uh, uh, the, the mentor trying to take over, with a mentee trying to take over the mentorship person. You know what I'm saying? The student want to take over the... Um, Teacher's position, they don't want to wait until it's time for them to succeed, you know, them on normal basis. They want to just speed up the clock and just knock them on out of the box. But see, that's not how it goes all the time. Sometimes you can take a look, sit back, and study your teachers. Get that knowledge in. Be better. Go forth and do greater, greater things than your teacher because that's what it's supposed to be. But Kenya just, you know, she just wants it now, and she just don't know she got it now. She just got to just... Put it in neutral. Her time will come because even Nene can't outlast Housewives of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Those who are giving much, we expect bigger and better things, okay? So it just is what it is. Just a little philosophy I'm dropping down to you. A little golden nugget here and there. You can catch it or you can just throw it back at me. I don't know, okay? Just do what you feel. But anyway, that was the article title. Let's get on into the article. It said, despite being tight with Nene leaks, Wendy Williams admitted on her October 11th show that she has no problem with the Real Housewives of Atlanta star's enemy and co-star Kenya Moore. The host weighed in after Kenya slammed Nene as a bully on the Bravo show. Okay, caught in the middle. I don't know why she died. She seemed like a backstabber to me. But then again, it may have been Nene running with the headline that her and uh, Wendy Williams are very close and Oh, Wendy Williams just let it go under the water, under the radar, until she come back and clock her own chin and say, that's, her, uh, that's the feelings of Nene. That wasn't my feelings. <laughs> we were just hanging out, having a good time. She trying to ride off my name, but let me set the record straight. Unless Wendy Williams is coming from that standpoint, and I'm there for it too, okay? We're getting back to the article. It says, caught in the middle, Wendy Williams may have recently rekindled some old friendships in Hollywood and even created new ones. But the talk show host, 55, still says what she wants on her show. And despite being thick as thieves with Nene Leakes, Wendy still gave her honest opinion about the Real Housewives of Atlanta's star ongoing feud with co-star Kenya Moore. In a new interview on October 10th, Kenya 48 slammed Nene 51 for the way she treats the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. The mother of one told TMZ that Nene is an absolute bully who she wishes would get herself together. Kenya, who says she always comes in peace, yet Nene always finds a way to be bothered. Also added that Nene is intimidated by her. That when That's when Wendy, who just had a girls night out with Nene on October 6th, weighed in. Okay, we finna get her tea now. Or coffee or wine bottle of wine however you want to take your drink okay the article states i personally have no problem with kenya 
she can call me and I can be as friendly with her based on if I saw a demeanor in her that was sweet like Nene. Wendy admitted on her Friday show, noting that she still says what she wants despite being friends with Nene. Now, I wonder did she clarify that with Nene when they were hanging out? Because I'm, I'm under the assumption that Nene thought she had Wendy Williams in the back of her pocket. And she was just going to ride her coattail until it was time for her to get off at her stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When Nene has truly, truly finally made it on mainstream. Okay, she's a household name. Don't get me wrong. Everybody knows. We only know her from the Housewives of Atlanta, okay? So, getting back to the article, it says, uh, look, I'm not that invested. I'm invested with you, the audience, that is. I've told you guys this all along. I'm on nobody's payroll. Now, I had to do a sidebar and call file on that play because, yeah, you are on somebody's payroll, honey. You are on somebody's payroll, uh, you may think you own your show, but the people who produce your show uh, and do all the marketing, this, that, and the third, you still got to answer to somebody, okay? You still have to answer to somebody because I, I don't think you own outright stock and barrel the Wendy Williams show, okay? I think it's some higher up, some more elitist, elitist people over you that tells you what and when and how you're going to do things okay they give you a little platform they let you do uh, little things but when the big 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 huge decisions going to be made i don't think you control that especially when you're talking about airtime <laughs> remember bill cosby trying to buy a network of his own girl please sit down wendy you're not acting right all right uh, go on back to the article that was my opinion i'm sure i have people come in and tell me different but that's okay they can do it. They're allowed to speak their mind. Just slow down, be cussing and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't like that verbal, you know, verbiage. Just don't, don't tell me what's on your mind and leave the cuss words out. Okay, but anyway, going back uh, to the article, it says, <coughs> excuse me, I'm on nobody's payroll. Please, I go out when I want. I say what I want. I check in with people to get the proper answers, she explained. I'm like, Wendy, are you think you're still married? Because <laughs> you, you, you try to sound like you, you, you don't uh, have to answer to nobody. But yeah, everybody has to answer to somebody. That's what we call checks and balances. Okay, getting back to the article, it says, Wendy, continue. Here's what I think the problem is. And this is coming from her own perspective. It ain't necessarily true. Okay, that's what I give y'all all the time. My opinions, my experience, my world experience that I've been through. And y'all can take it uh, for what it is. You can try it out. You can just let it be in the back of your mind. Or you can just say, what the hell? I, I ain't saying what you're talking about. Okay, but getting back to the article, it says, um, here's what I think of the pro that the problem is. Nene was the queen. And she emphasized on was, okay? Nene was the queen of the franchise. Nene took some time off. Then Kenya has been a star on the show since. She first got on the show. I mean, they should have given her the peach after the first episode. Kenya's now gunning for that Nene money. Nene is the queen of the franchise. I don't know, Nene. Okay, so see, she just throwing daggers instead of her saying uh-uh Nene got this shit so up uh, I don't care who come who go I'm gonna always be the HBIC that's how I see it for my girl Nene so I don't know Kenya you might be barking up the wrong tree but she's just saying the opposite okay so how does that look on Nene how does Nene perceive what uh Wendy Williams is talking in front of her face Nene ain't going I mean Wendy's not going in the back she's not going on the side or whatever or creeping up you know what I'm saying she coming to her on front street telling her Honey, I think you shouldn't have left um, Real Housewives of Atlanta to go do your own little thing because we see how that played out. You had to, hum to eat humble pie, go through Cynthia to get back in, and now you think you're running things again. But that's not how it is. That's not how it is. That's not what uh, Wendy Williams is saying to her so-called bestie friend, Nene Lease. Hmm. Nene, pick your enemies wisely and damn show. Don't make no more new friends, okay? Because it ain't looking good for you. I'm just telling you. It ain't looking good for you, Nene. You, it ain't looking good, girl. Okay, moving back, it says, um, let me see. The talk show host also mentioned that upon hearing about Kenya's interview, she texted Nene to see what she had to say. See that? That's a shit stirring. Pot stirring and everything to keep her show, which is the Wendy Williams show, 
going up in ratings. She don't give a damn about Nene Leakes. She don't give a damn about Kenya Moore. She only cares about her purse and the money she's taking to the bank. Cut chain. Can you hear that? Cut chain. All right. Uh, going back to the article, it says, um, however, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star did not answer. Mm, so Nene really got some, she got some common sense. So she's she saying what she's being played. But she's saying, you know, when it says she tried to reach out to Nene, Nene did not even comment back. Uh, however, the real house, okay, Nene and Kenya's feud has been going on for quite some time. Kenya took a year off from the show last season, which was 11, to focus on her family, but still made guest appearances here and there, one of which occurred at, <coughs> excuse me, the end of season, at the end of the season at Cynthia Bailey's, Cynthia Bailey, uh, Cynthia Bailey's wine cooler party. Nene fought with Cynthia after she discovered that Kenya, who she called a monster, was invited to the party. Bravo, along with Kenya herself, announced her big return to the show's 12th season over the summer, and Nene didn't seem happy about Kenya coming back to the franchise, which she herself has been a part of since 2008, in Inception. September 17th, Nene acted like she didn't even know Kenya. That was on Wendy Williams' show when uh, Wendy was trying to play up the part and do a little commentary on her while she was at the stroke show, and that shows, uh, you know, Wendy Williams is first a businesswoman. She's looking at her pocketbooks and how she can continue to get wealth in her side. That's my brother. I have to call him back. Um, and she's she not looking at nobody. I, I don't think you can have friends on the level that she's on because who would trust her? Really? Especially if you've got no no home, no arms barred or no holes barred where you can go and talk about people. That person, uh -uh, that don't, that's why people don't want Wendy to come to their house, okay? Because she'll go there talking about what they got in their house, what they should be having, what she thought they would have. Who she'll be doing the shoulda, coulda, woulda, houlda, uh, who, what, when, where at all, or putting their business out on Front Street. And then they will have to probably try to come out the <laughs> Trying to come out the way the way is okay off camera that is, but anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, you know, Nini asked when um Wendy was trying to get some um, news out of her that she had like she ain't no king, which is her co-star. Okay, uh, she said, "Who's that?" Nini said sarcastically. When asked about Kenya's return, good luck with that. She later added in reference to Wendy's opinion that Kenya is coming for Nini's Real Housewives of Atlanta money. Fans of the show would know that Nene is the highest paid and longest tenured housewife in that particular franchise. The Real Housewives of Atlanta premieres November 3rd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Bravo. Okay, y'all tell me what y'all thought about that, honey. Do you think Wendy is a traitor or Wendy just out for her own pockets and forget what Nene or a friendship? She don't care about that. <laughs> she only care about the dollars she's going to make out for promoting and pimping out. Uh, the storyline that's going between Kenya and Nene. But y'all get down in them comments. You know I'm coming back with another video on your face. Okay. And hopefully y'all will tune in. And continue to subscribe to my channel. Continue to share, like, and uh, comment on my videos. Okay guys. I'll see you next one. Bye.